First, the site is excavated and rebar is placed according to local code. Then the footing is poured and a capillary break is placed on top of the footing to prevent capillary wicking from the ground. Then the foundation wall is poured, with anchor bolts placed according to local code. Waterproofing is applied to the exterior of the basement wall, followed by a layer of extruded polystyrene insulation. Drain tile is placed around both the interior and exterior perimeter of the footing. Then a 4-inch layer of gravel is placed to facilitate drainage underneath the slab and to act as a capillary break. It also allows the removal of radon from beneath the slab if radon is present. Gravel wrapped in filter fabric is also placed around the exterior drainage tile to allow for drainage at the bottom of the basement wall. A layer of extruded polystyrene insulation is placed on the interior floor, followed by a 6 mil polyethylene vapor retarder. Note that the vapor retarder is carried up the wall to where the top of the slab edge will be. Isolation joint material is placed, the slab is poured, and the seam is sealed. At the top of the basement wall, a board or coating is applied to protect the exterior insulation. This should extend at least 6 inches below the soil surface. A layer of sill seal is placed at the top of the foundation wall, followed by the termite shield and another layer of sill seal. The first floor structure and decking is placed. Please note that all exterior seams should be sealed. The exterior trench is backfilled with granular material to allow for drainage along the foundation wall. On the interior of the rim joist, pieces of extruded polystyrene are placed for insulation. These should be sealed around the edges with spray foam insulation. A code approved thermal barrier is installed and sealed around the edges for fire protection. The wood stud walls are built and flashing is placed at the bottom of the sheathing. A weather barrier is installed overlapping the flashing and extruded polystyrene insulation is placed over that. Furring strips are attached through the exterior insulation to the wall studs. These provide a ventilation cavity for the exterior siding. Lastly, the exterior siding is applied to the furring strips.